Hi guys, I'm Lawrence at Design911 and today I'm going to be giving you a tech talk on some of your Porsche suspension components. In this video, we're going to be covering the anti-roll bar or if you're from America, this is often commonly referred to as a sway bar. An anti-roll bar is not to be confused with uh, a roll cage. A roll cage goes inside your car, an anti-roll bar goes outside your car and underneath the car. What does it do? Well, an anti-roll bar connects your two front wheels together and you have another one at the back connecting your two rear wheels together. The best way to understand how an anti-roll bar works is if you just imagine a car, first of all, without them. If you take my two fists as wheels and imagine I'm going around a right hand corner. As I go around the right hand corner, a car has a tendency to lean to the outside of the corner. So my car's gonna lean to the left. So as I'm going around and I go around the right hand corner, the car's leaning to the left. My inside wheels have a tendency to also kind of lean to the left and they pick up. So you start to lose traction on your inside wheels. If you then join the wheels together, with an anti-roll bar, as that right hand wheel lifts up, as you can see, my left hand wheel is also lifting up. So what that does is instead of going around a corner and your inside wheel doing this, you go around the corner and it resists lifting because your left hand wheel is also trying to lift at the same time. With an anti-roll bar, you then kind of maintain much better traction with your wheels to the ground. This helps improve handling and drive through corners. How it's mounted is underneath the car. The bar is first mounted to the body of the car with these little kind of cup brackets and bushings, rubber bushings. The purpose of the rubber bushings is to kind of remove any vibration that you may get through the bar. So that's how the bar is mounted to the car. Next, obviously, it's key that the bar is mounted to each wheel, respectively. It's mounted to the wheels with something called a drop link. This drop link goes through the bar here and is then connected to the shock absorber for each wheel respectively. This way, as you can see, as the wheel goes up, compressing your shock and trying to lift, it lifts up the other wheel on the other side. So that's how an anti-roll bar is connected to your car. As I mentioned, an anti-roll bar is a key part of your Porsche suspension. It's an essential part. So if your anti-roll bar does wear, it isn't the end of the world, but there will be some telltale signs of a worn anti-roll bar. The primary one is when you drive your car, you'll experience a lot more roll. If your anti-roll bar isn't working as designed, it will no longer be resisting that roll when you corner. So when you go into corners, if you're experiencing your car seems to kind of like lean to the outside of a corner a lot more than it used to, it's a good chance that your anti that your anti-roll bar is either you know, fractured, it's no longer kind of resisting that roll, so the bar itself is damaged, or the joints that connect it to the car or your, or your suspension are no longer working correctly. As I mentioned, it's connected to the car with these cups and rubber bushings um, connecting the bar to the body of the car, and then this drop link, which has, um, which has ball joints. If any of these connections are worn, so maybe these bushings are worn, no longer clamping the, the roll bar, or maybe these ball joints, the boots are split, dirt's got in there, and all of the grease has come out and these are worn, then you may be experiencing clunking noises from your car suspension when you hit potholes or when you're cornering. So if you're experiencing any of those symptoms, there's a good chance that your anti-roll bar has some wear in it and or might need replacing. It's very unlikely that the bar itself needs replacing, but it's the bushings and the fixings that connect it to the car that wear and that need replacing. At Design 911, fortunately you're in good hands and you can get every single part for your anti-roll bar. You can get original equipment bushings, you can even get original equipment clamps and bolts from factory. Alternatively, instead of just upgrading the bushings, you can upgrade your entire anti-roll bar to a high-performance anti-roll bar. What makes this high-performance compared to an original equipment anti-roll bar is its stiffness. 
This bar is a lot stiffer. So as you can imagine, it eradicates even more roll. So when you go into a corner, you have a lot more stability in driving the car and you have a lot more feel. Another thing about this high performance anti-roll bar is that it's adjustable so that you can make small tweaks to the stiffness of the bar. The way you do that is just by changing the location of your drop link. If you wanna make the bar even stiffer, you use this first pickup hole, which is closest to the clamps, or if you wanna reduce the stiffness a little bit, you would just use this second pickup hole for your drop link, which is further away from the clamps. All of these parts, the original equipment bushings and the original equipment clamps are available at Design 911, including a full anti-roll bar upgrade, which will include the bar, very hard polyurethane bushings and clamps. If you go to design911.co.uk and in the header, select the model and type of your car and click save vehicle, you'll then be presented with a parts page. Scroll down this parts page until you get to suspension and axle. Alternatively, on the left-hand side, there's a navigation menu, which you can also scroll down and select suspension and axle. If you click on this, you're then presented with parts for suspension and axle. Here, you'll see anti-roll bar. On this tab, you'll have all the different anti-roll bars available. These are the original equipment anti-roll bars. So on here, you'll have front and rear original equipment anti-roll bars. The next tab is anti-roll bar bushings. Again, these are the original equipment anti-roll bar bushings. The one next to that is the anti-roll bar brackets. These are these little cups, the cup that, that mount the anti-roll bar to your car. Again, these are the original equipment cups. If you're looking for that more racy feel and you want to upgrade your bushings to either this kind of middle of range polyurethane or you want to go the whole way and go for some really hard stuff for the track, instead of selecting suspension and axle, if you select suspension upgrades, you'll then be able to find all of the different options available to you to upgrade your anti-roll bar. Design 911 really do stock every part for every Porsche. So if there's any parts that you can't find on their website, don't hesitate to reach out by either phone, email, or the chat function on their website. Their sales team will be available to help you with your query. I hope you found this video useful and now understand a little bit more about what an anti-roll bar is, where it goes on your car, and what it does.